several key players in the automotive industry still have at least one minivan in their portfolio. Others have only recently joined this game, like Volvo with their EM90, which builds on the Swedish brand's sister company Zegers 009. It uses a rear-mounted motor that generates 268 horsepower, 272 PS 200 kW, meets 8.3 seconds to hit 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, and has a 459 mile, 738 kilometers range according to Chinese standards. Its 116 kilowatt hour battery pack can be charged from 10 to 80 percent in less than 30 minutes, and it can be used as a massive power bank on wheels to juice up other EVs and or appliances, etc. But the Volvo EM90 is not the only premium minivan that deserves its 15 minutes of fame, as so does the Lexus LM. The Japanese Marks model is a hybrid making use of the electrified 2.5L unit shared with the NX350H and RX350H. It enjoys 246 horsepower, 250 PS 184 kW, and comes with standard front-wheel drive in the UK, with the AWD system being reserved for the two upper grades. Can you tell what's missing from this picture? That would be a similar vehicle for Mercedes, Audi, and BMW. And we know what you're probably thinking, that the former has the B-Class and the latter the 2 Series Active Tour, but these are smaller and, therefore, more cramped than the battery electric Volvo EM90 and the hybridized Lexus LM. In fact, the EM90's wheelbase is actually longer than the one of the Mercedes GLS, whereas the space between the axles and the LM is longer than the E-Class. Starting from the premise that BMW needs a large minivan in its portfolio, Fiatal set out to imagine it, using something not so ordinary as the foundation stone, the Maxxis MIFA 9. SAIC's electric minivan is actually bigger than a Mercedes Maybach GLS, features a very generous interior, comes with no fewer than 10 screens, and has a 323-mile range in the regular flavor. With multiple mouse clicks, the rendering artist managed to adapt the styling of the BMW i7 to the Maxxis MIFA 9, thus giving virtual birth to the i7 Active Tourer, an all-quiet minivan that would have the opportunity to become a moneymaker. So, should the Munich Automark risk a huge chunk of money and make a people carrier that would be a rival to the Volvo EM90, or should they stick to the usual recipe that includes traditional passenger cars and multiple crossovers?